Hello, people of Earth and fans of the Browns. This is Evan Masters. My name's Dylan Balsamo, and this is the Benjamin Curtis Memorial NFL Preview Show. We got a lot to look forward to for the 2018 season. First, let's talk about some of the teams that surprised us during this offseason. Uh, what uh, what stood out to you this summer, Happy? I know what I'm going to go with the Bills. You know, they were a playoff team, and all of last season they seemed like they were trying not to make the playoffs, but they got in. So what do they do? They draft Josh Allen, which I thought he was the fifth best quarterback in the draft. I He's just a project pick, and I didn't really see it. And they got Tremaine Edmonds, too, who another project pick. So although they were a playoff team, they also don't have a quarterback, really. They don't have a guy. And their defense has just a lot of question marks. So we got to see what the Bills can do. You know what? I'll stick in the AFC East. I actually really like the pick of Sam Darnold for the New York J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. I think he's going to be the piece that they need in order to bring the flair back. Because I think the Jets have shown different sparks throughout the last maybe five, six, seven, eight years of being a potential contender. They play with the Patriots. They're able to contend in games. I think Darnold's going to be that one piece that really does it for them. I, you know what? When Darnold was at the draft board, too, I'm a Giants fan. I... I was always on team quarterback, no matter who it was. I, Darnold was my favorite, and when he was there, I really thought the Giants would pick him. They would uh, go away from the temptations of Saquon because he is the best overall player. But when you have this idea that a franchise quarterback is there, I think the Jets really got their guy and could be the guy for the next 10 years, especially because once Brady goes out, if he ever does go out, we'll be Sam might be the king of that division. Absolutely. You bring up the Giants, let's talk about them. Saquon Barkley, obviously, was their big draft pick this year. What are we thinking? How does that improve this team? And is it enough to really give them a push to contend with, you know, the now reigning Super Bowl champion Philadelphia Eagles? As much as some of the additions will help the Giants, that division is just crazily tough. You have, obviously, Super Bowl championship champion Eagles. You still have a Cowboys team that has the best offensive line, a former one of the top running backs in the league. Just Dak Prescott, if on, is a top quarterback in the league and a defense that can surprise. So... And also the Redskins. <laughs> but th it's a tough division. Do I think the Giants can make the playoffs? Maybe. Do I think th anything further? I doubt it. This team is not. They're a year off, and that's not good when you have an aging quarterback in Eli Manning. Absolutely. I agree with you. I think Dak Prescott, when he's on his game, is a top five guy in this I, league. I agree. Mobile, so talented, awesome quarterback. Let's talk about the Eagles. They potentially have the best problem you could possibly have as a team. Oh, no. Nick Foles. <laughs> is a wonderful quarterback, and he was the backup for this team. If Carson Wentz comes back healthy, they have two fantastic, healthy quarterbacks. So what are you thinking? It all depends on Carson Wentz's knee. If he's ready to go, he's their guy. He was a borderline MVP candidate. He should have been the MVP if his knee didn't go down. You have Nick Foles, one MVP, great. But even he realizes that Wentz is the future of the team, and he probably won't be in Philadelphia much longer. If not this year, he has in contract that he has to be out by this year. So... Absolutely. I think Wentz is the future in Philadelphia. I think we can all agree upon that. So we'll quickly wrap this up. Let's do uh, two quick predictions. Give me your MVP and your Super Bowl pick. MVP? I mean, it's tempting, but I'm, I, you got to go with Aaron Rodgers. I think he's going to come back. I think he has a new kind of talent around him. He doesn't have Jordy, but I think Jimmy Graham and him will have this connection will, that will light up the NFL, that division. I'm going to give it to Rodgers because I think he's the best quarterback in the NFL when fully healthy. Absolutely. This is the year of the wide receiver. Antonio Brown's going to win NFL MVP. I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Everyone calm down. I'm only kidding. Yeah, you right there. <laughs> I think if Dak Prescott can really step it up this season, this is the year for him. Right. Super Bowl pick? Okay, I'll give you this. Just because I'm crazy. Jaguars, Rams. Because why not? I can see it. Absolutely. I'll go with the Rams because they built a team. They built a team that will win the, that for the Super Bowl. They have a – they. The players like that, McDonald and Sue, Marcus Peters, Akeem Talib, they, they picked guys up that will win them a Super Bowl within the next few years. Because if not, it's all for nothing. I think the Rams have arguably the best roster in all of the yeah, NFL. I Absolutely. Uh, I I take the Jaguars as well. If not the Jaguar, I think the Jaguars and Patriots will meet in the AFC Championship game. Steelers are on the down the decline. Absolutely. No Dolphins. Sorry, Ben. If Tom Brady can do it, then he can do it most powerful guy in all of professional sports who's not named LeBron James. Well, let's about wrap this up. Thank you very much for joining us. That's Evan Masters. I'm Dylan Balsamo. My stocks still don't match.